Hi, I'm Matthew. Welcome to my channel. And today is Will It Shave Wednesday. I am not going to be doing a shave today. Although I do need one. But today's video is not a DIY, but an HID. And if you haven't heard of that, it's called How I Do It. Now, I do have to say this. I shouldn't have to, but I feel like I should. If anything beyond this point of the video makes you feel uncomfortable, do not do it. And uh, if you do proceed to do this, uh, the one thing that you have to keep in mind, you're going to have one or two outcomes. Either it works really well or the possibility you may ruin your brush. And so you have to be going into it thinking this may not work. And so if you're willing to sacrifice a brush and you have a brush that you don't like the knot and you want a brush that has a nice badger knot, stick with me and I'll show you how I do it. Come on. I take my brush and wrap it with rubber bands. This will make it easier to when you go to pull it out. In a pot, I get the water to where it's just getting ready to boil. And that is right about 185 degrees. And then I will drop the brush in there and make sure it's soaking. Shut the heat off and put the lid back on. Set your timer for 10 minutes. After the time has elapsed, you must do this when your wife is not at home. Take those out, let it drip. Just an important note here, please wear gloves. This is hot. The epoxy that held this knot together stayed in the bottom of the brush. You can use a Dremel, but I chose to use a Forstner bit inside my drill press. I do a quick wipe down of the inside with alcohol and do a test fit to make sure that the depth of the knot is where I need to set it. And then I use the E6000 to glue the knot in place. All right, well, there you go. That's how I do it. Uh, this is just the way that I kind of thought about doing it. And there are other uh, methods out there. But when I tried it on several other brushes, this worked the best for me. And if you have a way that you do it, another HID, comment below and let me know. Have you ever replaced one of your knots in a brush or have you sent it out somewhere? Thank you guys for watching. You have a great rest of your week.